Hello and welcome back everybody to Llama Llama Randomizer and in this episode we'll be taking down the uh, uh, Guardian number 5 V the K king of the gnomes Catablapus Alright so V is a boss that technically has three stages. First stage the uh, the eyelashes that you smack in, or the, in order to actually uh, pop out his eye the first time we have dealt damage. The second stage, where you are attempting to actually damage the uh, the eyeball, and the third stage, where he actually and the third stage, where he actually gets significantly faster and uh, starts uh, changing the laser tra trajectory. I, I love this gimmick, where you know the boss the boss is rising. Oh look, he's immune to the lamp of time. Boop, boop. Do, 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 do. Although we did reset the music track. Um. Well, he wasn't doing the. He wasn't using his project. Why can't we hurt him? Oh, because we're only allowed to hit the cor the uh, cornea slash iris of his eye. So okay, don't get on that top platform. Oh, all right. Well, you got repelled. So go on the top platform. Damn it. This is why V is my least favorite boss in the game because if you don't have if you don't have the pistol, you have to do this the long way, and um, yeah, doing uh, doing V the long way kind of sucks. I like it how his laser also destroys the demons that were helping him open his eye. The big thing that's important ab about the laser though is that it actually destroys his eyelashes as well. Well, yeah, but well, you still have to get on the other side of him to hit the other one. Damn it, stop killing your own dudes. We don't get credit for those deaths. Here is me attempting the shuriken on him, which is a terrible idea. All right, we're problem solving. Because well, we've already... Oh, All right, he is, he is officially entered stage three. Oh, boy. Yeah, he is changing direction. Well, how do you like that? Is that now that we can't use the axe, suddenly it's a boss again? Oh no, we can still use the axe. We just have to be in the correct. Uh, we just have to be in the correct position, which is a bit, a bit more difficult to do in this fight. Yeah, because the second you get in a position, then he fucking retracts the eye. The demon has to pull it up again, and he is. He's well, he's trying to hit you with the laser, but it's not really working. Hmm. For the record, Shuriken are honestly my go-to boss, uh, my my go-to boss killing weapon, with the with the exception of, uh, with the exception of Tiamat and uh, Baphomet. Uh, that would have tricked me. So I thought that he was only going to fire once, and then he fired a second time. Now, well, he's been firing he's been firing twice as long as he's been on stage three, so. Oh, also, while you are touching V, you have a very significant the health drain going on you, so don't sit on him. Yeah, but he bounces you up like a trampoline. No, he doesn't. Oh. What you need is good reaction timing. Yep, yep, open your peepers for the fucking 20th time. We are almost out of shuriken, Mr. Cloud. Avoid flames. No, wait, wait for, wait for laser. Eyeball extends. Avoid fire, because fire will block shots and then fire. All right, we are out of shurikens. Now, how do we do this? By using our axe. Yeah, that was a good axe opportunity right there. Yeah. Yay! We have successfully slain V. Called it. Yay! Whee! Oh yeah, uh, right. Wel uh, welcome to the back side of Chamber of Extinction. This particular side of Chamber of Extinction is not nearly as important as the front side, but it has it has both a significant uh, it has a significant shop that that sits here as well as the uh, pathway to our next big boss fight. Or rather, uh, boss fight. I always forget if Baphomet's uh, between Baphomet and Palenque, which one uh, is six and seven. I think uh, I think Baphomet's supposed to be six and Palenque is seven, 
But I honestly don't know. They're interchangeable for me. The important thing is, now that we've killed V, we've got access to a, to a significant uh, to a significant new area that we can access from the surface. And we will be showing that off shortly. I just want to go and check out the shop first to make sure that there's nothing in here that I need. Shop time. Oh, and it has two things that we need. The Glyph Reader, well, Glyph Reader specifically, and Bounce Shot. Bounce Shot is part of the... Uh, I actually thought we already had Glyph Reader, but no, we do not currently have Glyph Reader. Wow. Anyway, uh, Bounce Shot is part of the uh, fairy, uh, fairy ROM combo that will allow us to guarantee the spawn of a weapon fairy. Thing that we I do not need to explain because we still do not have the Isis Pendant. We, but we are in desperate need of Glyph Reader right now in order to actually make significant progress because a bunch of the checks that uh, we that we are being locked off right now are, are literacy checks. That's what I mean by about the spoiler making the axe the axe worse. If, uh, norm, without the spoiler, the axe would have totally killed that zoo. But it, but with the spoiler, it just it just doesn't do it anymore. Yes, we have reached the chamber of the goddess of the Turner Classic Television Network. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> tower, tower of the Goddess is honestly a really interesting tower because this is technically the whole of a, of a starship. Greetings, Neo. I am the architect. I programmed La Mulana. No, not too far off, except uh, our programmer of La Mulana is a chick. <laughs> Oh, I, I uh, saw that I, bottom right. See, I'm, I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to keep my eyes open for the hidden ship, but I'm, I'm still learning. Mm, all right, and we got yet another map. Ah. There's only one map in the game that you need to get, sadly. Ah, you gotta kill the you gotta kill the pony, and then you gotta kill the rider. Actually, if you kill the rider first, uh, Shadow specifically uh, is a sig is significantly less of a threat. No, but uh, but if you kill Shadow first, then the rider becomes a significant threat as he starts flying around shooting lasers at you. The reason why that statue decided to dissolve on our approach was because we have the plane model. The plane model is actually a treasure that you're supposed to get in this area much later on. And oh damn, we killed Shadow first, so now. So now that's what the rider does. He flies around and attempts to hit us with uh, twin energy bolts. Yeah, that's... Well, the shield can block it. Yes. Please be actual cash. Nope, it's Pepper. But Pepper allows us to do one of my favorite checks in the entire game. To season the turkey? Sadly, no. There is no turkey for us to season in this game. Which you think there would be, given uh, given how La Milana 1 is very much a classic MSX Castlevania rip. Right. <laughs> no, but no, there is no turkey for us to season. See, I think that that goddess statue is foreshadowing that when we fight the goddess, that first we destroy her body, and then we must destroy her head because it starts flying around and spitting lasers at us. <laughs> uh, no, actually, we destroy her head first, then we destroy her soul. Okay. <laughs> so it is foreshadowing. It is foreshadowing, but it's not foreshadowing on purpose. It's actually foreshadowing that there's a, that there's a hidden room uh, behind her. A room that we will not be showing off because we don't need to. Wall kick. Wall kick. This is how you are intended to actually climb up the tower the, uh, the first time that you're here. Uh, you uh, Using a combination of the grapple claw and feather in order to uh, get up to here. But once you get into this room specifically, you realize that those walls are too far away for you to actually do that for. So now they expect you to figure out how to do how, how to do a neutral jumps with the feather. <laughs> Well, you made it this far, Mr. Problem Solver. We believe in you. Yeah, but the whole reason it works is because the physics are significantly different than how they were in, re in uh, the uh, original game. Uh-oh. 
again, uh, the uh, fake the fake uh, goddess statues disintegrate because we have the plane model. And that is what the plane model does. It uh, reveals the, it reveals the uh, alternate exits out of the Tower of the Goddess. Because they're hidden behind the fake statues. Yep. It also, however, brings this particular statue to life. And it's dead. Yep. You killed my horse. Now I will kill you. Mm. Oh, look, the waterproof case. Now we can switch weapons while underwater. Yay. Using the hotkeys, rather. Because, um... I wish I knew what the hotkeys were in this game. I can never remember where the weapon switch hotkeys are. Uh, nobody ever really needs hotkeys. If you have a pause menu, you don't need hotkeys. If you have a main and a secondary, okay, you might need hotkeys, but that's all you're going to need hotkeys for, is just a main and a secondary. You see, you say that, but bosses would be significantly easier for me if I could just figure out where the goddamn weapon switch hotkeys are. Being able to turn on and off my shield at will would be amazing. And oh, I thought that was a quick save. Nope. I'm, I still, I, I still have not been able to distinguish between what is just a tombstone and what is an actual quick save point. Uh, the Grail points look significantly different and have an, an actual housing mechanism on them, as opposed to the normal, the normal tombstones, which do not have the housing unit. To give though, Mr. Gerda, you have to back up every time you swing at it. Actually, no, that is not a give though. That is just a slight clops. The the abacu the abacow, which is the uh, which is the semi the, which is the semi invisible horse that we can see thanks to the eye of truth, is the big is the big problem and in this area. I don't act uh, because I blew my charge on. Uh, my uh, lamp of time charge on the uh, on V, and it didn't do anything. I can't solve this puzzle, but I also can't solve this puzzle because I need to start. I need to flood the Tower of the Goddess with water, which I need the Glyph Reader in order to do. No, don't dump water on the electronics. They will never work again. Which is actually the opposite of how the Tower of Goddess works, because the Tower of Goddess is a steam-powered spaceship. <laughs> He thinks I'm kidding, folks. No, I'm just beginning to appreciate the lengths that this game will go to in order to surprise you, and I am quite impressed. Hmm. All right, so we're back in Twin Labyrinth. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we are back in Tri Twin Labyrinth trying to do because, honestly, we are probably trying to set up... Uh, nope, looks like we're going for more cash so we can go get the Pachet key. All right. We sorry, we are still pretty low on cash. I mean, for goodness sake, we have less than a hundred, still less. Than Actually, 100. we're getting uh, we're getting cash specifically so that we can get the glyph reader because that's the the, the next big thing that I want to do. I want to go take down the uh, mini boss, the mini bosses in Endless Corridor, so that we can actually show off what the uh, second to last uh, area of the game looks like. We are actually really far into the game at this point. Oh yeah. It's just that it's just that getting the uh, final puzzles done is going to take us significantly longer than it should have. Over to Inferno Cavern. Thank you. So what is your favorite lava-themed area in video games, Mr. Cloud? Um, honestly, it probably has to be Volcano, Volcano Valley from Sonic 3D Blast. Because the music in that level is pretty cool. The lava gimmick, well, I mean, if you've played Sonic the Hedgehog games before, all you need is a fire shield, and fire shield gives you protection from lava. And protection from lava is pretty nice. Yes. Do not go up the, uh, do not go up that ladder that's there. Um, at least in a, at least in a, uh, in a normal, uh, in, in uh, the normal run, or rather in a semi-normal randomizer run. Specifically, if you do not have the ice cape, because that ladder takes you into the Inferno Cavern, specifically in a pool of lava. Well, goddamn you for not buying something. Such strong language. <laughs> what the? Where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> hey, these guys are adults. They're they're allowed to use uh, they're allowed to use uh, uh, vulgar uh, vulgarities uh, in 
and their NPC decks. What are you buying? What are you selling? <laughs> Is it all, stranger? Well, fuck you too. <laughs> All right, our first liter literacy check. Reading. Damn it! It was the curse of the forbidden temple thingy. Mm. All right, so on to endless corridor so we can go take down these sub uh, these sub bosses. And in the next part, we still will not find the end of endless corridor. Um, actually, we will. Oh. Uh, the end of Endless Quarter is right after the sub-bosses, after all. It's a misnomer. See, it wants you to believe that it's endless, but it's actually not. Alright, be safe, everybody. Yes. We will slay even more mythical, mythical creatures next time. Flowers. <laughs>